Joe Biden up over President Trump. Donald Trump is within the margin of error. With three weeks to go before one of the most consequential elections in American history, and experts that I've talked to say that we need to look at election security in three broad buckets. One of them is cybersecurity. The second bucket is the difficulty and the threats posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The third basket is what experts consider to be uh, one of the most dangerous and probably not well uh, addressed by the federal government. That is the disinformation bucket, cybersecurity. And this refers to the safety and security of all of the computer systems that are involved in the elect elections, everything from the voter registration databases and websites to poll books that are used by poll workers on the day of the election to verify the identity of someone. And I think perhaps in cybersecurity, is an area where the federal government has probably done the best work uh, since 2016 and probably has the best means and resources to stop anything similar to what happened in 2016 occur again. And what by that, I mean Russian spies we found out had been scoping out the computer systems in all 50 states. That scenario is unlikely to play out in this year is what I'm hearing. The second bucket of concern is the physical security. And by that, I mean the changes and the adaptations that both states and borders have had to take because of the pandemic. We now expect a record number of American voters this year to cast their ballots by mail. And also the physical aspect of this has meant that states have had to ramp up their capacity to deal with a huge influx of mailed ballots and have had to put in systems that can sort and uh, examine these ballots in a timely manner. And this refers to all the information and bad information about where to vote, uh, whether mail-in ballots are acceptable, or whether the election itself uh, is being conducted in a proper manner. And then once the election is over, um, you know, there could be potentially lots of disinformation that deals with whether the results from certain states and counties and jurisdictions ought to be believed, ought to be trusted. Um, so those, all of that falls under the umbrella of disinformation. And experts that I've talked to say that they are most concerned about that uh, because unlike in other countries, when it comes to disinformation targeting elections, the federal government plays a very big role in trying to stop it. In this case, in the United States, we now have a government led by President Donald Trump who trades in disinformation and many of the experts see the president I did what the corrupt media has refused to do. I held Joe Biden accountable as the biggest purveyor and distributor of disinformation.